In this video, we're going to learn how to use one of the most underrated features inside of Bolt, and that is called discussion mode. Now, if you've created a website following the basic principles of task, context, constraints, and output, you should end up with a pretty nice, simple website like this. This is a UX portfolio from created from a previous video, and we're going to actually see the how we can make it. And we're actually going to see how we can make it better by entering discussion mode and maybe planning out some ideas of how we can improve this website. So to go into discussion mode, you're going to go down here and below your prompt box, you're going to click this little box here. This is going to allow you to toggle between discussion mode and build mode. Now, remember, if you're in discussion mode, you're going to be able to talk about your code base and your website without burning too many tokens. This is not going to actually change anything but you're going to actually be able to brainstorm some ideas, talk through features, upload screenshots, but it's not going to change what is on the screen there. Whereas if you're in build mode, anything that you input in here is going to affect your website. So let's go ahead and brainstorm a couple of features. Uh, what should I add to my portfolio site next? Now, remember, this is going to use about one tenth of the tokens that uses that is getting used in build mode. So you can just chat away, don't worry, you're not gonna burn through all your tokens. Now, what we've got here is we've got some case study pages suggested. Uh, we've got the enhanced project cards, testimonials, improve the contact form, and implement a back to top button. Some pretty nice suggestions. Um, what we should do, maybe we should implement the case study pages. Let's do that. Can we implement implement the case study pages? Let's do that. Let's press enter. And once you choose a feature, it's going to come up with a bit of a plan. Okay, let's implement the case study pages based on the change that it looks like this was removed. I'll add that back in. And this is the plan. And if we click this, you can see it's going to switch out of discussion mode and back into build mode and then go ahead and make the necessary changes to your app. So this is really good if you are kind of not sure what you're going to build next, you can kind of brainstorm that idea, plan it out, and then once you're happy with the plan, switch back into build mode, ask Bolt to implement it, and then it's going to go ahead and make the changes inside of your app. It looks like it's finished and we've implemented the plan for the project. Let's scroll down and we'll see if it works. Here we go. Now we have a nice individual page for each one of our case studies. Now. Let's try something else. Let's try a power trick. Let's see if we can ask AI to write a more structured prompt in discussion mode. Let's say this, let's go, please recommend a new feature to us. And could you structure it in a way that you have a task, you have the context, you have the constraints and you have the desired output, please. Let's see what it comes up with. Here's what we have. Let's say, Implement a contact form with email submission. Uh, let's do one that actually doesn't require any additional integrations. Okay, light and dark mode. Okay, this is the, the task. Implement a theme switcher, the context, the constraints, and the desired outputs. Then it's gone to the plan. This looks all good to me. Let's go ahead and get this implemented. You can see this is how you can get Bolt to be thinking for you and not planning out your features before hopping straight into that build. You can keep everything nice and structured, which enables you to do easy rollbacks, easy fixes, and all that good stuff. And remember, each time you're doing this, you're actually saving a load of tokens. So rather than putting everything into build mode, you're saving probably about nine tenths of those tokens just by using discussion mode instead. Now we can see we have a site in dark mode. So that is how to use discussion mode to add and plan new features without having to dive straight into build mode. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and catch you on the next one.